watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in... And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set six water pots of stone after the, man the manner of the purifying of the Jews containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they fill them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not when it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning that set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. And this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. The miracles of Jesus. Or miracle means something beyond man's intellectual or scientific ability to accomplish. It is supernatural injected into the natural order of things. When it has a process and it has a means which uh, came from nature or from any other means, then it is not miracle but it is called a providence. Because the miracle is man's beyond intellects and scientific ability to accomplish. It is supernatural. In other words, if it, if it is not coming from God, then it comes from other sources which are spiritual, perhaps from Satan. Well, the purposes of <clears throat> miracle of the Lord Jesus Christ it, mm -hmm. is to teach or to reveal the deity of Christ the Messiah of Christ, including teaching the deeper spiritual truths with the component of sins and its consequences and the power of Jesus over those consequences of sins. In the Bible, there are at least 35 recorded Jesus miracles. On uh, these 35, the first is the miracle marriage in Cana of Galilee, where he turned water into wine. Setting of this miracle is, of course, to approve to us what Jesus approved. First of all, he approved marriage. He went and celebrated marriage. It means Jesus blessed marriage. Next, Jesus here do not advise that as Christian we should live in ascetic kind of life. He preferred that Christians should live in a society where we can where we can show our good works. The Bible says Christians are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We are to shine. We are to shine our good works because through that our Father will be glorified. And so Christ called us to be with our society, to be with our community. We are not told or we are not commanded to live a solitary kind of life, to isolate, perhaps going to the cave or to the mountain and live like a hermit or live like a uh, nuns or monks. Well, the Bible is impliedly teaching us to live in a society where we can glorify God through our life socially. We need to live our social life and Christ approved it. But of course, in this uh, manner, we can also draw a conclusion that Jesus approved the celebration or perhaps festivity if it involves the glory of Christ. Why not go to the celebration? Why not go to the festivity, festivity if Christ, through that activity, through that celebration, is being 
glorified. And so the story of this miracle show us that Jesus is of course uh, show that uh, he is different from other people because his being a man is a kind of uh, separation to other men because through him, miracle can happen. That's why Jesus Christ is uh, different from all other men in the sense that he is being God in a man, Christ Jesus, is not or has not disappeared. It is still there. Jesus is man and of course he is God because he can perform miracle. And those who can perform miracle is of course is supernatural. I said so miracle can be done supernaturally, meaning it can be done by God or can be done by Satan. And for sure, Jesus is not a follower or is not a member, is not satanic in nature. Jesus is God because he did miracle. Well, the story of the miracle, the secret here is only that Christ make a way, way of creating. He created wine out of that water. The secret of the miracle is creation. Well, Jesus Christ said in John chapter 1, it is said that Jesus is the creator. For by him and for, for in him all things were created. Without him was not all things were made. So Jesus created things. So if he can create things, he can create, of course, a wine out of the water. So the secret of the miracle is creation. Jesus Christ created. He can create. Well, of course, we see here that why did Jesus did the miracle? The, the sole purpose of doing miracle or uh, Jesus done miracle is perhaps, first of all, to show his deity and messiahship. The Bible says after that miracle, the disciples believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, believed in his messiahship, believed in his deity. Well, we believe Jesus Christ as a messiah or as a God, even though we do not see miracles actually. We know that Jesus is a miracle worker and therefore we know that he is God and messiah through our faith. The disciples followed Jesus and believed to be a miracle worker because they see, they saw, they experienced the miracle of Jesus. Well, we as Christians now believed because of our faith. Well, another reason is uh, Jesus wanted people to be joyful because of that miracle of wine. People were become were become uh, joyful. They they uh, they uh, the the miracle of wine add joy to that celebration and that is what the Lord Jesus Christ want to each believer, to each one of us Christ want us to have a joy kind of life so come to the Lord Jesus believe in his deity, believe in his messiahship because the result of that is joy this is God's word for you today